Brianna, I know that you went through a lot mm-hmm. and um, you were dating Bobby Vitale. Mm-hmm. And I think you kind of went down a dark hole. Yes. How can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, um, I met Bobby when I was right before I signed my contract with Vivid. Um, so I was 20, 21. Mm hmm. Um, I just got the cover of Penthouse. Mm-hmm. I would just got the cover of AVN and, um, you know, was about to sign my deal with Vivid. And I met Bobby. At, I had worked with him twice. Mm-hmm. But, you know, outside of that, I didn't really know anything about him. And then um, he approached me at AVN at the award show. And, uh, you know, uh We ended up dating. He drove me home from AVN. And at that time, um, he was sober. I didn't really know anything about him that he had a past of drug abuse, you Mm -hmm. know. He was 14 years older than me. So I was still pretty naive at 21. And uh, I fell pretty hard for him. And um, then he relapsed. And um, his drug of choice was crack. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And... uh, Unfortunately, you know, I'm also have a very addictive personality. I've been to rehab a few times. And Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, I got wrapped up right in it with them. And I mean, the stuff we did was just insane. I, I, I OD'd so many times and got down to like 98 pounds and... Still, you didn't think anyone was catching on, you know. Vivid called me in and said, you know, we can't shoot you until you put weight on. You're too skinny to shoot. Your mom, she pulled me aside and actually watched me eat. Like she she forced, was force feeding me. And it was, it was just a really dark time. And that was only one year of my life that I did that drug for. Mm-hmm. But that one year, like, ruined so much of my life. Yeah. You know, my reputation. Um, I, I, I. <laughs> Didn't you drive a car into Bobby <laughs> and pin him to a wall? Yes. I knew this was going to come up. And I, t- to this day, I will stand by the fact that I did not do it on purpose because, uh, you know, Bobby was very abusive to me. And I think um, a lot of people don't know how bad he used to beat me, but he broke my jaw. He wow. cut off my finger with a knife. Wait, what? Yeah, this finger. Which one? The Can one? I see it? Yeah, he cut it off with a knife. Where did he cut it? Notice it doesn't. And he cut it all the way. I was about to go on stage to dance. We were at a club in Akron, Ohio. And uh, yeah, I was doing my makeup and he, no, re- I had an engagement ring on and he just took a knife like I had next to me to like cut up my fishnets before I went on stage because I would do this whole theatrical pulling of the fishnets off. Mm-hmm. And he just picked it up and cut my finger off. And I was like in complete fucking shock and I I didn't feel the pain I just I all I I just said you know like my the bodyguard had just walked away because I had a bodyguard with me and I duct taped my fingers so that it you know was still on and put on my gloves and I went on stage I was in that much shock that I didn't really realize what it, what had just happened until like the second song I started seeing blood all over the stage dripping down my arms and then I I passed out And I woke up in the emergency room and, you know, they had to like sew everything back together. And yeah, it was, he did some awful stuff to me, breaking my jaw when I was on on tour, also throwing me across the room. And um, so that's why people think I hit him on purpose. But I actually pulled into my garage and he was in the garage in the dark, smoking crack, and it scared the shit out of me. I didn't wasn't expecting someone to be in my garage, mm-hmm. and I hit the gas pedal, and I smashed him in between my car and the wall, and I broke uh, his pelvis, uh, broke his legs. Um, God, and it was awful. And I, the reason, like, if he knew, if he thought for one second that I did that on purpose, I wouldn't be alive today because the shit he did to me after, because of course he was pissed. He knows it yeah. was an accident. But I mean, I would wake up to him pulling me out of bed by my hair and pissing on me out of his uh, his bladder bag. And I still stayed with them because I felt so guilty about hitting him with my car. Like, I, I he had to learn how to walk again. 
and he continued to do drugs. And at this point, I had stopped doing drugs. I was I was done, you know. And um, I just I called his mom. I'm like, you know, I he can't he can't be here anymore. You know, he's gonna kill me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wake up one day and he's gonna have killed. You know, I'm not gonna be here anymore. So. Um, he ended up getting like a hundred thousand for my insurance and I personally paid out of pocket 20 grand for surgeries for him to get everything working again. And, um, you know, that, that was the end of Bobby Vitale's career. He tried to make a comeback, I believe at one point. And, um, when I heard his name, I was just like, he's no one's ever going to work with him. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.